national solidarity in the face of crisis. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, help one another to do what is right and good. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Noble society are coherent and cooperative ones that live in solidarity, especially at times of crisis. Our Prophet wasallam described these virtuous communities as saying, the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion, and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. The Prophet wasallam also said, the relationship of the believer with another believer is like the breaks of a building. Each strengthens the other. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam illustrated this by interlacing the fingers of both of his hands. The management of crisis requires having national solidarity in various ways, including avoiding all forms of fraud, manipulation, and exploitation. Our pure religion strictly, strictly, our pure religion strictly forbid these negative defects. The Sharia ah strongly prohibits cheating in all of its forms. Among the early verses revealed from the glorious Quran in Medina, was the Almighty Allah saying, Woe! Woe to those who give short measure, who demand of others, people full measure for themselves, but give less than they should, when it is they who wait or measure for others, do these people not realize that they will be raised on a mighty day? A day when everyone will stand before the Lord of all worlds. Allah also said in the Quran, reported Prophet Shu'aib, my people, in fairness, give full measure and wait, do not withhold from people things that they are rightly theirs, and do not spread corruption in the land, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, He who cheat us is none of us. He who cheat us is none of us. The Islamic Sharia also forbids all forms of monopoly and exploitation because these are forms of manipulating people's livelihood and the basics of their life for the purpose of achieving illegal gain at the expense of people's difficulties and hardship. The Almighty Allah said, you who believe, you who believe do not wrongfully consume each other wealth, but trade by mutual consent, consent, but trade by mutual consent. Do not kill each other for Allah is merciful to you. The Prophet said, everything belonging to a Muslim is unavailable for a Muslim, his honor, his blood, and property. The Prophet also said, none withholds good till the price rises except a sinner. Thus, the one who hoard goods is deprived of goodness and patriotism because he give preference to his personal interest to all humanitarian, religion, and national consideration. Therefore, such person deserves punishment from the Almighty Allah and hatred from people. If the monopolist and hoarder know that the money they earn from monopoly and exploitation would be destructive to them on the day of resurrection, this would be a deterrent to them from that injustice. The Almighty Allah said, says, the Almighty Allah says, anyone who does so will carry it with him on the day of resurrection. The Prophet ﷺ said, 
He who brings good for sale is blessed with good fortune, but he who keep them till the price rises is accursed. He peace be upon him also said, Cursed is he, the, the worshipper of the dinar and dirham. However, the honest national merchant is the one who does not deceive, cheat, or betray. Rather, his patriotism, especially in times of crisis, drives him to reduce the margin of his profits in order to elevate people's burdens. There is no doubt, there is no doubt that this is a form of a compassion for which he is rewarded by the Almighty Allah. Allah has promised such person with great reward as the Prophet said, the truthful and trusty merchant will be with the prophets, the upright and the martyrs. He, peace be upon him, also said, May Allah show mercy to a man who adopts a kind attitude when he sells, buys, and demands for the repayment of loans. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. Times of crisis require altruism not selfishness and exploitation. They require compassion, not cruelly. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he is not a believer whose stomach is filled while the neighbor to his side goes hungry. He is not a believer whose stomach is filled while the neighbor to his side goes hungry. These times require compassion generosity and giving as the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said they give them preference over themselves even if they too are poor those who are saved from their own soul's greed are truly successful the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when the people of Ash'ari tribe reign short of food during the battles or the food of their families in Medina reign short they would collect all the remaining food in one sheet and then distribute it among themselves equally by measuring it with a bowl. So these people are from me and I am from them. There is no doubt. There is no doubt that solidarity plays a great role in strengthening social and human ties and fostering love and affection among members of society. Therefore, the Islamic Sharia came to promote it. The Almighty Allah says, help one another to do what is right and good. Help one another to do what is right and good. Do not help one another towards sin and hostility. This cooperation is manifested through spending in all the charitable aspects, especially providing food for the poor and fulfilling their need, as Allah says, they give food to the poor, the orphan, and the captive, though they love it themselves, saying, we feed you. We feed you for the sake of Allah alone. We seek neither recompense nor thank from you. We fear the day of our Lord, a wall of very grime day, so Allah will save them from the woes of that day. Give them radiance and gladness, and reward them for their steadfastness, a steadfastness with a garden and silken robes. Allah also said about the people of paradise to feed at a time of hunger an orphan relative or a poor person in distress. The Prophet said, feed people, strength the ties of kindship, and pray as night when others are asleep, you will enter paradise in peace. The Prophet ﷺ also said, the best amongst you are the ones who provide food for the poor. The best amongst you are the ones who provide food for the poor. May Allah save our country Egypt. 
and all other countries of the whole world. Thank you.